Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love and the general for the sign of Virgo for week ahead. So watch this video if you are a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or if you are dealing with one. Keep in mind these are general readings so it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberately fit and check in any other placement. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram, the link is in the description. So now let us see messages for Virgo. We will start with an oracle card, then we'll go to your tarot. All right, Virgo. So let us see what is the message for Virgo for week ahead, please. What is the message for Virgo for week ahead? All right. Okay. The cards are not coming out. What's the message for Virgo, please? So Virgo. Message. You might be dealing with somebody who is very, very stubborn or you might be feeling like one of your work situation is very stubborn because the card is just not coming out. <laughs> All right, finally. Yep, just what I expected. So we have despair and perfectionism, isn't it? So I definitely feel that there is a situation which is not going as per your plan. It feels like the situation seems very, very stuck. You feel like nothing is moving. It's causing a lot of despair to you. Some of you, your message is that you're trying to be very stubborn and very perfectionist. Like sometimes, and you know, Virgos are the perfectionist of the zodiac. You want things to happen in a certain way and you're not ready to see things in a different light or try something new. And that is actually causing this blockage and this dis delay for you to move forward. All right. So you need to let go of your perfectionist attitude. And, uh, you know, sometimes um, if the work is good enough to go, it's good enough to go. You don't have to be perfect at everything. All right, perfectionism kills um, the motive and you never really can, you know, get get past. So you will see most of the uh, successful people, they're not perfect, right? Nobody is perfect as such. They just make the work to be done, right? If it, if it is done, done is better than perfect, right? So yeah, that is your message. And let me read out what this despair card is seeing. I need your divine intercession right now. Oh, great spirit, lift this darkness from my soul. Free me from this burden. Open me to your highest plan. May I be a peaceful vessel for your love. Exactly. So you need to trust in the divine and the divine plan and, um, you know, call in your angels to help you and do not get caught up in this, um, you know, circle of trying to be perfect every time. So much so that you are very scared to try new things and then later on you just like, you know, kind of get stuck. So yeah, your message is let go of your perfectionist tendencies and try to find a way. Uh, which can be a little different than what you expected to but yeah that's going to be a better thing right so be be a little more flexible is what this card is telling and that is going to pull you out of this despair energy all right now let's see what your tarot is saying give me the present energy for my virgo please hold on a second give me the present energy for virgo again yeah the four of pentacles which is again this is the same energy of being a perfectionist virgo Virgo, let go of your stubborn ways. Uh, your stubborn ways are basically getting in this, uh, you know, situation. It's not letting you move forward. I see there is definitely something which is keeping you stuck. And this is all your own notions, your own way of doing things in a certain way. And you are not ready to be flexible, which is which is creating the problem. All right. So some of you, I see that. Uh, I also see that if you are looking for better opportunities, more money, better work conditions or whatever, then you have to, again, uh, get out of your own way, let go of your perfectionist attitude, try to be more flexible and try to find uh, a job maybe out of your current location, right? So relocation would be better for you. Four of Pentacles is literally a card of, you know, letting go of your uh, current situation and move to something new. So some of you relocating to a new location could be better. All right. So if you're looking for good money, then yeah, that is that. With the moon card, I also see that uh, you're overthinking a situation, overestimating a situation and you're trying to kind of self-sabotage things and you are getting consumed in this negativity so you know you need to let go of this um overthinking and sometimes you just need to take the leap of faith and then you can see what happens later on so some of you you need to be a little more adventurous in your life right and let go of your negative thinking the self-critical talks and all of that let go of that right okay what else five of sword i see the situation around you could be a little chaotic Plus, I see that you are going through a very transformative energy. 
Virgo, you definitely are going through something very, very major emotionally. It is very, very burdening. Some of you, they could have been a loss of somebody who was maybe dear to you. Now, this is a very specific message. But for most of you, I see that uh, it's like a situation which you had a lot of faith in and uh, you were trying to work out things and it did not work. And now the change is happening here. The situation is calling out for you to make a change and let go of your old ways and try new things and maybe move on or whatever and you're not ready to do that because you have been invested into a situation very deeply and letting go of this is causing a lot of confusion you don't know how to do that so you are being asked to leave behind a toxic situation which has been very very toxic i see that the situation might have already ended but you are still holding on to it so yeah you very well know as i'm speaking you very well know what am i speaking about so there is a situation there is, uh, you know, something which is confusing the hell out of you. You're not getting the clarity. Uh, all of this is keeping you stuck. You very well know that you need to let go of this, but you're not doing it because you have emotions attached. You need to let this go. All right. If you will not let this change come into your life, you will not be able to move towards positivity. Right. So sometimes you have to die in the process. So this is literally you dying and having a rebirth. So you are going through something very burdensome recently is what i see or you have recently gone through something which was very very burdening very very hurtful you almost felt like you died in the process so yeah virgo oh my god this is a very transformative energy here a tough situation has come to an end and you are finding it very difficult to release it the hierophant if you will release it i see you will be headed towards something much more stable some of you i also see that your tradition your culture kind of comes in between you moving forward like you want to do something but then something about culture family values and all of that kind of come in and you're not able to you know um uh, let go so basically your old conventions preconceived notions uh family values principles you know ideas and all of that is getting in the way of you moving forward so sometimes you have to be you have to let go of the old traditions and customs and you have to adapt to new things and that's exactly the reading is calling out you to do you have to change with the changing times which you're not doing right now Virgo. okay what is the message for Virgo now after all this what is coming towards Virgo next six of pentacle and two of cups wow wow so I see that you are moving from a very one-sided connection. You definitely were in a one-sided connection in the past. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. It was a very one-sided connection. There was a lot of negative thinking, maybe backbiting, bad mouthing and all of that was involved. A lot of confusion. Somebody was just not making a decision about you. The situation kind of ended. You were not able to accept it and whatnot. It was a major transformation that you've gone through. But see, what, what is coming towards you next? It's a six of pentacles and two of cups. A very well reciprocated relationship is coming towards you. Some of you, you'll be connecting with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But all of this is going to happen when you make this decision finally to leave the past behind and move forward. Because you are very stubborn to leave the past in the past. You're not doing it. You're closing your eyes to a change. And that is going to cost you. That is going to cost you. I see big unexpected changes coming in. A very beautiful relationship coming in. Some of you, there's a very stable connection very well reciprocated connection you know two of cups is where two people are equally in love and six of pentacles is again balanced so i see a very balanced connection coming towards you but what are you doing closing your eyes trying to stay in the victim mode you need to stop doing that and make a decision so you have to go from two of sword not making a decision to two of wands clearly deciding what you want and moving forward you know there is somebody who's very interested in you this person will be giving you a very balanced connection but for that you have to pull yourself out of this toxicity and you have to tell yourself that okay this past situation has ended and i accept it you know something like that okay what else for Virgo, please two of pentacles see again you have a choice you have a choice to stay stuck or to move forward to move forward towards stability or to you know like stay stuck and be like oh this happens to me that happens to me and all of that so you can crib or you can um, expand in your life you decide some of you i also see that there could be a career opportunity coming in two equally good career opportunities coming in so if you have been a little tight on your money situation then i see uh, opportunities coming in but for that you have to again get out of your old conceived notions and explore new opportunities this reading is screaming for you to let go of your old ways 
and try something new. All right. What else? Three of Pentacles. Wow. I keep on seeing that you're manifesting a relationship which is well reciprocated. Like your only agenda right now is to have somebody who reciprocates the connection. It's not a one-sided effort because in your past, you definitely felt like you were the only one who was trying to push through a situation and it was never well reciprocated. But now see, what are you manifesting? I see you are manifesting a very beautiful relationship which is going to be very well reciprocated and very well balanced. But for that, you have to also put an end to your past, which you're not doing. So you are at one place manifesting new things, but on the other side, you're still clinging on to your past energy. So you need to stop doing that. Be more receptive to what is coming towards you, all right? You are manifesting great things. Some of you, you will be making a lot of new friends. Uh, you might, you know, work, uh, change your work and there you'll be connecting with a lot of good people. I see good friends, good friendship situations coming in as well. So yeah, you're going to be more social now. Okay, what happened in the recent past for Virgo, please? Knight of one and the ten of one. See, I'm telling you, there was a connection which was a lot of passion between you and somebody, but it was very, very one-sided. You were the only one who was doing the hard work to the point you got tired. You literally got tired of a situation because you were the only one who was trying to push through the situation. Ten of ones. There was a connection which felt like hard work. It was a lot of hard work. And now you're manifesting something new which is not a hard work, you know? You don't want to be the only one who's doing everything in the connection. So you have your priorities set. What else? Page of Swords, see? Again, you need to be let less anxious. Some of you, it's like you are manifesting a connection and it is coming in as well, but when we go through something tough, we are not able to trust it, right? Because sometimes we feel that how can something so good can happen with me? That's exactly your energy right now. You're not trusting your own manifestations. You're not trusting that something so good can happen with you. And if you do not trust, it will not happen with you. So you need to trust. You do not trust. But I see something really beautiful manifesting for you, unfolding for you. And I see a lot of forward moment, you being very social, connecting with like-minded people, and from there only this connection is going to come in, Knight of Pentacles. A very stable relationship is coming in, very stable, you know. Knight of Pentacles is no joke. Knight of One is basically a fuck boy or a fuck girl that you've dealt with in the past, but you are now attracting a Knight of Pentacles kind of energy, which is going to be a little slow, but it's going to be very stable, all right? What is the advice for Virgo here, please? What is the advice for Virgo? Okay, page of ones. Let this new energy come in, six of cups. Some of you, this new person could also be a past person. Like you might know this person somehow, maybe this could be an old friend, like a childhood sweetheart or some, some something of that sort because we also have three of cups. So this could be maybe a friend of yours who's approaching you. Like this person never really did that in the past, but now they see that you're single or you're going through these transformations. So they wanna make an offer to you. Be receptive if you want to have a relationship. Do not block people out of your life. And also, don't try to overburden yourself. I see that you have taken a lot on your plate, more than you can chew, and now these days you feel very suffocated. So take rest, take breaks. If things are feeling very burdensome, take breaks, right? I also see there is somebody who's spying on you with the, with the Knight of Sword, but this person is very toxic. And this person is seeing you move forward. They know the hurt that they've caused you, you know? Reconciliation and healing family issues. See, just when I speak about the past, the reconciliation card comes in. There is somebody from the past. I see this person has major issues. So of you, they could also be having family issues. And maybe the family issues kind of got into this connection of yours with them. So this person wonders about you a lot. And they are thinking of reconciliation, but they also know that they have a lot of healing to be done before they can come to you. Because this person is toxic. They need to let go of their toxic ways. Right? All right, give me a message for Virgo. I want to focus on my career right now. Some of you, you might not be wanting to indulge in a relationship. You want to focus on your career. My family, uh, didn't I tell you? Some of you, I see that you are, like your past person, their family was kind of a problem between both of you. So we have healing family issues and then my family is very judgmental. So somebody's family, old traditions, customs, and all of that kind of, ruined a connection between you and them. I felt insecure and this person was 
was very insecure. So they kind of projected their insecurities onto you and ruined the connection. This person is wondering about you a lot. You mesmerize me. And I also see there is somebody else. You have two energies here, definitely. There is somebody else who thinks that you mesmerize them and you complete them. Both of them could be known to you. Like one is a past person, the other could be a friend of yours. I'm, I'm just picking up that very strongly because we got the reconciliation card and the six of cups. So even your new person is not entirely new. It's a past person. Somehow you have known this person. So yeah, who do you choose? You have options in love. Who do you choose, Virgo? <laughs> so yeah, you can decide that. And um, I wish you all the very best. And uh, I'll see you in your next video. Uh, till then you guys take care. I hope this resonated and helped you in some way. And I hope that you got something out of it. So I will see you in your next video. Till then you guys take care. Stay safe. Bye.